Hey there, I'm Donnie Kidd from the Loveless Estate, and this is... I'm Chris from the Loveless Estate. And... I'm Corey from the band Holding On To Hope. Um, our bands are a little different, yet we all have sweet mustaches. So, which definitely brings us, you know, you know it's a good little, little trace amigos. Um, anyways, I don't know, yeah, the festival thing's new, it's a new... Uh, venue for us we're used to like the restaurants and some smaller things with with less bands but it is really cool to be sort of like right in with the people that are listening to the music you know we just kind of set up and and camped out and uh and we were able to just walk around for the couple of days before we played and and, and uh, meet people and, and get some music into people's hands and and kind of i don't know network a little bit meet the people that are listening well, i like it I, yesterday i actually went around and i i handed out as many free cds as i could to everybody and a lot of people were really stoked about it, so just trying to push the mu music out there. Um, festivals are always cool because, like, um, kids always come out for, like, to see bands, like, and, just, and they know that they're seeing a lot of bands, and so it's, like, they're ready to, like, participate, and they're, like, stoked to be there. Like, you know, some places you play, and, like, either you're not, like, the right kind of genre or something within a, within a show or something, and people are all like, what? But I think at festivals, especially like this one and Cornerstone and stuff, like people come out to see bands of all different genres. So you get a, like a mix of people there. So it's really cool to like be able to hang out and you know with those people in general and just like people that you maybe wouldn't wouldn't see you otherwise, I guess, and like hang out with them and fellowship and it's it's awesome. And you always see tons of your friends at festivals that you know in other bands, and it's like it's um, awesome. But first, I I think. Uh, and festivals like this one, I think, is actually really well set up. I mean, um, there's not, like, too many bands where it's to the point where there's constant music going on and, like, a million different things to go see, so you miss a lot of bands. Um, I think it's cool set up like this where it's just, like, two stages that it goes back and forth and then a couple off stages that kind of go here and there and stuff. So I think you don't really necessarily have to win that many fans. It's at, a, at an event like this, at other festivals, it's a little different when there's, like, four or five bands playing at once and they're big you know bigger more established bands and stuff so it gets a little difficult but i think how tom fest is set up is really cool and uh yeah we're stoked to meet some new people that we wouldn't before so. i think i think the cool thing about tom fest is that like like you know Corey's part of a really really good hardcore band and we're you know donnie and i with with the loveless estate it's acoustic and it's so i mean like i feel like the people listening to holding on the hope would fall asleep listening to the loveless estate but but everybody's been receptive of everything you know um it i can imagine it'd be tough for for a hardcore band coming to a festival so full of hardcore music to uh to kind of rise above you know other and kind of stand out enough for people to remember but but i feel like everybody's been been kind of giving the bands the benefit of the doubt you know we there's a lot of bands coming from a lot of different places and uh and everybody's looking for good music they want to hear they want to hear uh good tunes and they're they're looking for it they're here to find it so um, so people have been really receptive. I would say, I mean, it is definitely a, a little more, like you see, you can see it on that end, that in the spectrum where like, um, there's a bunch of bands like that. So it's like, you have to kind of try to rise up and do what you do. But like, I think like the biggest part about it is just do what you do. You know, like I, like no matter what, if there's like five people watching you, like you have your songs and you have what your music is to you and what it means to you and your art that you created. And it's like, to me, it's like, do that. And if people like it or they don't, you know what I mean? It's like, that to me is not my concern, you know? Like, it's more the fact that, like, I'm able to share my heart with people and, like, what we've, as, as a band that I'm speaking for, like, have created, you know? So it's like, I think on that level, though, it is, you know, it, it is a more like, hey, there's, like, you know, 20 hardcore bands playing. Like, what, what are we going to do to stand out? And I think, I mean, our music is definitely a little different than a lot of the bands that are playing, but it's definitely, like, a small concern, but... Again, I, I think it's more importantly that people are here respecting music. And then there's people, a lot of people here are here for heavier music, too. So it's like you go and you see, you know, tons of, pe tons of hardcore bands, and then, but kids like that. So I think, like, they have a more receptive, positive, you'd say, like, uh, they like it. I don't, know, I don't know what else to say about it. So I think it's... I think it's a small concern, but I think in general, kids really respect the diversity of each band, whether it be some similar, and you know, if they like it, they like it, and then we have some sweet acoustic jams slipping in there, and 
it's awesome, dude. It's it's an awesome mix and people pre talking and it's like festivals like this are always really really cool. So it's a good it's a good little blend of uh, all the goods. So it is a really intimate um, situation this festival because you're you're tightly packed in this little little couple acres um, and you get to know your neighbors pretty quick, which is cool though because you get to share. Uh, we've we've gotten to share our, our music with with everybody around us and and uh, meet people that we would probably never meet um, if we hadn't come to Tom Fest. Um, but it's it's been great. I like it. It's it's a it's it's different than a lot of the festivals I've been to in the past where you really don't get to connect with a lot of people. You just pass them by and uh, it's kind of you're doing your own thing mm -hmm. but um, Tom Fest is is different where you, where you get to connect with a lot of people music to me man like honestly it's it's my heart dude like it's something that can change people's lives and I've been given some kind of gift to create something um, whether it be something someone likes or someone someone doesn't like and I just in hopes can continue to live selflessly and like give my give everything of myself to everyone else at as low as cost or as lowest as possible like as far as music goes as cost like we give all our music away as a pay whatever you want thing um, and so does all the bands on Come and Live so like really my heart for music as an art form is really to share a message and to really like be able to give something to people that they can maybe somehow influence their life or somehow like inspire them or something to do something and um, I mean I write songs pretty much are about just observations of life and my life and things that I go you know go through so that's pretty much I guess what music is for me I suppose. Music is a release for me and <laughs> it's a way for me to tell a story to to reenact something that meant something to me that probably applies to thousands of people and uh, music music is beautiful it's just a beautiful thing and um, it's a gift and and uh, if, if you were given it I, I just feel like that's what you need to give back to the world and um, I've never been that good at school or anything else but music I always seem to have a little niche for so thanks man but uh, yeah, I, I just like to get music into people's hands and I love it when people can relate and, and it touches them in a certain way and, and it means something to somebody but it can mean something totally different to another and that's what it's all about. It's just making a soundtrack to people's lives, you know? I don't know, I feel like, I feel like music is just, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out um, kind of what I, what I wanted to do. I had, I had so much kind of going on inside that uh you know trying to create and different art forms and stuff and music when i finally you know picked up my first guitar and started writing songs music's the only thing that kind of really made sense and uh i just i feel really blessed that uh that's something that i'm super passionate about and uh and i can't live without and i can't live without creating it I, i'm blessed that people also like to receive it and they and they love to hear it and and it and it just kind of clicked when uh when when I started creating and people started enjoying what I was creating, you know, and then and then working in the in the whole scene and stuff, it 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 just became everything to me. And uh, and uh, I mean, I, I honestly don't know what I would do without it. I don't have another outlet, inlet. I don't have any other way of expression anymore except for to just you know write and play and 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 share. And that's I mean, being able to being able to especially at a place like like Tom Fest and stuff, you know, like really getting to share the music with the community not just not just throwing cds out on the internet for for people that'll never meet you and stuff like the people that are hearing the music here i'm going to get to talk to you know and and they're going to get to find out about me and my music and what it means to me and what you know so it uh it kind of brings the whole thing together and uh and so it's i'm really fortunate to be a part of it to be a part of the scene